And wow, thanks a lot. And back at you. I thank you so much. Have a seat. That's so sweet of you. Um, see, that's why I love coming to work every day. And I tell you, and I'm not kidding around, if you would start doing that for your fellow coworkers, wherever you work, <laughs> everyone would have a better day if that's how you started. Can you imagine just going to work and people are just like, woo! <laughs> Jenny's here! You know? <laughs> That's what I love about this job. It's a fun, fun job. Um, there are, people always say, God, this is the greatest job, but you know, is, is it always great? And there are ups and downs of being on TV, and I'll tell you that right now. I mean, the ups are the, the obvious things, the perks, and the get to go to the restaurant and get a good table, and if you go to a club and they have a bouncer in front, and there's a velvet rope, you just get right through, and <laughs> you get a, a free subscription to TV Guide, and... Uh, <laughs> So those are the obvious things. The downside is, is that you're on TV. That's the downside because, um, you know, you can be at home and you can look in the mirror and you think you know what you look like, but it's just a mirror and you, this is all you see. When you're on TV, it is like a magnifying glass. It's like, it exaggerates everything about you. Plus, I have a big TV, a 19-incher, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and if you have surround sound, I look at myself and I look like a <laughs> just like a monster trying to attack my own TV. But you notice all the imperfections when you're on television. You see every single thing. It's like if you can understand, like when you listen to a tape recorder and you listen to yourself talk and you think, that's not how I talk. I don't talk like that. My voice is not nearly that high, you know? And it's exactly how you talk, but everybody's like, yeah, that's how you sound. I sound that whiny. I don't sound like that. <laughs> So the point is, I saw myself on TV a few weeks ago, and uh, last week actually, and um, I couldn't believe my hair. I, I, it was so big. It was just, the, it was larger than usual. It was like a bouffant. <laughs> and for those of you who don't speak French, it's like, <laughs> like blonde cotton candy. My hair was like, children were trying to eat it. It was huge. It was, and what happened was, what happened was I decided to use some hairspray just because I wanted to be adventurous. You know, I just wanted to do something a little different, you know, like the time I wore a bolo tie. And uh, <laughs> why won't I learn? And so, and hairspray is good in small doses. It's, you can cross a line, and if you wear enough hairspray legally, I don't think you have to wear a helmet. Um, <laughs> it was, <laughs> and, and I don't understand why no one said anything to me, or even hinted like, It's one thing, you know, to, to look back at your high school yearbook and go, what was I thinking with that hair? But this was last week, you know? <laughs> and so I got a haircut, and, uh, and then suddenly everybody noticed. Everybody's like, oh, your hair looks great. You know, and then they go overboard with it. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Don't you love it? Ellen's hair is adorable. It's darling. Oh, it's stupendous. <laughs> I don't know what you did, but just keep doing that. What they're saying really is, please don't go back to whatever you did before. <laughs> Oh, that was bad hair. That's what they're saying. And so I'm happy with my hair today, but I'm sure I'll look back on this hair and apologize at some point. But for now, I'm going to celebrate my hair and dance. Help me, Tony.
to try it and then I chickened out. <laughs> I chickened out. I've made it so far. I've never actually not made it, but for some reason today I got scared. <laughs> uh, Tony? Hey! What's going on today? Oh, um, had a great weekend. Yeah? And they finally started doing work on my deck. You remember I told you it was sloping towards the front door, so water was gathering. It was in raining it. and going in your house. Yes. yes. So now they've stripped the whole thing, and they, sh they should be done by Friday. Oh, they won't. <laughs> why, why not? <laughs> they, they said they would. When did they start? They started um, last week, Friday. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> did they just said Friday? Did they say which Friday that it would be done? <laughs> they, a week from Friday to oh, Friday. No, it won't be. Because no. whatever they say, they're not true. It's not true. Uh, they can tell you it's going to be done in a. They could tell you it's going to be done in five years and it would be ten years. I promise you. <laughs> and how much did they say it was going to cost? A fair amount. Yeah. <laughs> and then it'll be an unfair amount. <laughs> <laughs> oh, construction. Hey, I'm excited. Charlie Sheen is on the show today. This is a huge hit. The CBS sitcom Two and a Half Men has become such a big hit. And, uh, and he's funny, and he's been here before, and I like him a lot. Also, uh, she's hilarious. Uh, Jennifer Coolidge is here. <laughs> I don't know if you'll recognize her. She's hilarious. She was in Legally Blonde. She was in Best in Show. Uh, she's on the new NBC comedy Joey with Matt LeBlanc. And, uh... <laughs> And also, we love her so much, she's back, and I'm always, always in a good mood when she's here. Hazel Smith, our country cook, is here. <laughs> oh. So, and if, as you know, if you saw the show Friday, uh, unfortunately, speaking of remodeling, uh, we're remodeling the luxury box. It's under construction. So, uh, no one will be joining us from the riffraff room because... Uh, and I'm sorry. I know, believe me, I'm sad, too. I'm sad, too! Uh, look at the people. I, yeah, we can't, uh... It's, uh, it's not up to code. They, say, they said, I guess we didn't put caissons in there or something. <laughs> and so we're gonna remodel, and a lot of it we're gonna do, uh, without permits. We're just gonna... <laughs> we're just gonna do it and hope we get away with it. But, um, and I wanna put a, a, a deck that goes a wraparound deck. Um, <laughs> And a screen porch and then a little spiral staircase. <laughs> like an upstairs, like a sleeping loft or something like that. So I just have a lot of plans. I'm a small, simple girl with big dreams. Um, OK, so uh, you know, I love reading these emails. We get so many great emails. And the other day, I was, uh, I was sitting out on my porch in my rocking chair having a lemonade and reading through some of these. And um, all right, it was vodka. And I was. Uh, <laughs> I was laying down, but the point is, <laughs> someone was reading these to me and they sounded interesting. Um, <laughs> I think they have something to do with the show. This is um, little Lacey Schmidt from Kennewick, Washington, says, Dear Ellen, I love the show. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. I'm 10 years old. I almost forgot. What is your fave color, sound, animal, and person? And, uh, oh, gee whiz, Lacey, that, that, those are great questions. Um, my, my fave color is, uh, I like fave. I like that you don't have the time for favorite nowadays. It's, uh, my fave, I like chartreuse. And I don't even know what color it is, but I just like to say it. <laughs> chartreuse. And uh, also, you know, what's fun to say is mauve or mauve, which some people say mauve, mauve. But I, I, I really, my favorite color is blue. Um, and then I also like some greens, not like bright, bright greens, but muted greens. And I'm not a fan of yellow, but once in a while I'll see a yellow and I'll think, that's pretty. Uh, and um, <laughs> pink I never thought I would like as a young girl, but lately I've enjoyed pink and then I've always enjoyed black. So there you go for my color. And um, <laughs> sound, uh, my favorite sound, I think everybody knows it's woo hoo <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. 
My favorite animal, I like all of them, but can it be a fish, Lacey? Because if it can be a fish, I'd say a coolie loach. Um, they have uh, orange and black stripes and they live in salt water. I also like saltwater taffy, by the way. <laughs> you like saltwater taffy, Lacey? You will. Um, but I like the, the, the coolie because they, they keep the ocean clean and I like a clean animal. So anyway, and, and oh, my favorite person is it's a tie between Gandhi or Nelly. And. Uh, <laughs> Breaker. I choose Nelly. All right, so Lacey, my faves are uh, Chartreuse, uh, <laughs> Cooley Loach, and uh, Nelly. And uh, that's it. Um, all right, another email is from Yvette from Newark, California. I started my job three months ago, and I don't get off until 5.30, which means I miss your show. It airs at 4. Uh, I'm thinking about registering for a TiVo. I'm getting married soon, so I can record your shows. I just have to convince my fiancé. Wish me luck. Thanks for making me laugh. Uh, Yvette, and um, now this was back in June she sent this, so I thought I would call and check up and see uh, if she convinced her, because I don't know what's going on. Because for all I know, she's married and has kids and they're all grown up, doesn't have time. What guy wouldn't want a TiVo? What guy, well, why does she have to convince him to have a TiVo. I hope they're home. Yvette, right? Is it Yvette? It's spelled with an I, though. Probably haven't saved up for an answer phone, either. He's this <laughs> cheap guy. No TiVo, no answer phone. Surprised they have a phone. It's probably a pay phone down the street. Well, it's a good thing she's not at work, uh, at home, because, I mean, she is at work, and she was truthful about not being able to watch a show. Seriously, they don't have an answer phone. I'm just going to start leaving a message anyway. <laughs> That's really sad. I hope, you, I hope you kids at home understand the importance of having an answer the phone now. Is what? Off. What? The machine is off. There's a machine that tells you the machine is off? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. They could, they... <laughs> All right. I was even going to offer to give them a TiVo and see what happens. Aww. I know it. It's very sad. All right, don't go away. Uh, when we come back, uh, Charlie Sheen's going to be sitting right here next to me. Oh, he's my favorite now. Our first guest has appeared in over 50 movies and currently stars in the hit sitcom Two and a Half Men. Let's sneak a peek at tonight's season premiere. Please welcome back to the show, Charlie Sheen. I saw what you just took out. I was just going to ask you, last time you were here, yes. your wife was pregnant. Yes, she was. And yeah. now you have a little baby. We have a little baby girl, yeah. And this is, uh, now, is that the, was, well, is this uh, the same picture? Well, this is the original photo. Uh-huh. Where should Wait, I hold it? Wait, this is easier, right. though. You see that? But this but is on this your wall? this is on our wall at home. Oh. Now, how that's, big is that about? That's uh, five by six feet. That's great. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's kind of one of those, you That's know, good parents. dumb dad things. No, but I also, love... when Sam comes home and sees that, she knows she's home. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. There I am. Uh, yeah. Right. Yes. <laughs> then, but if she's not wearing that, that's confusing. She'd have to be wearing that whole uh, bouncy saucer. Right, <clears throat> and and she should be all the time. All the time, yes. Why? Indeed, I, yes. I would love to be in a bouncy saucer all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like being in a bouncy saucer. No, you're right. You're right. That's yes. a, that's the cutest thing. That's a little thing where they can just roll around and it's a like a little ride, right? Um, that's more the walking car. No, oh. <laughs> I'm thinking of the Flintstones. You're right. right. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> Now, and now, how, how are the dogs? Because I know that that's, that was the concern. You had a lot of dogs, and what are yeah. they doing with the baby um, now? We have three dogs, and they're all very small. We have a, a pug, a, a Boston, and a French bulldog. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were worried that they'd be jealous because they've had the run of the house, you know. Um, so I took a, a, a blanket home from the hospital with Sam's scent and mm -hmm. um, fluids on it. And, um, <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> gave that to the dogs and got them used to her, and then I sat them down and had a talk. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, we still love you guys very much, mm -hmm. but uh, you're now second fiddle. Yeah, that's hard. It's very hard, yeah. Now, how long did they have with the blanket, a day, or like were they? They had, I... they had like an hour with the blanket. Oh, really, that's it? Yeah, yeah, it was a crash course. And so, yeah. and so then you, you come home with the baby and they're actually okay, or they? Well, they're small dogs, mm -hmm. and Sam's pretty small right now. Mm -hmm. So I think size-wise, they all feel safe together. Uh -huh. We're guessing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> as she gets older, they might feel more threatened. Uh -huh. um, but they all seem to be getting along great. You because know? the crying and stuff, because I heard today that there are CDs that you can buy of babies crying, and you play that in advance so they get used to crying babies which seems like you're gonna have enough of that. Why do you do that beforehand, you know? Sure, sure. Yeah, we don't have the crying baby yeah. CD. No, we don't have that, no. Now, yesterday, I don't know if, if you saw the show yesterday, but I was talking about... Um, you were the, on yesterday? I was on yesterday and the day before. Okay. And, um... <laughs> uh, the, there's... Uh, <laughs> That's good. I realize now that I say that that uh, today is Monday and I wasn't right. on yesterday at all. It's fine. When I say fine. on, I meant like trying to be funny. Of course, yeah. Of course. Yes. <laughs> I, I meant I'm always on. Of course you are. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was on the Emmys yesterday, and who you were knew great. that I would win or lose? Yeah. And um, so. Uh, <laughs> Oh, so so anyway, but the point is, uh, several weeks ago, I was uh, talking about the spiders that had overtaken my house, uh -huh. and then uh, someone told me when you were on today, I should talk to you about that, because you're also scared of spiders or have some weird thing about shoes and spiders. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't have a spider problem like it sounds like you do. Yes, uh, I do. And I'm, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, they're um, all over the house. And you've called exterminators and... No, I don't want to kill them. <laughs> I don't want them to be there, but I don't kill things. But anyway, so so what do you have? Uh, just a, a, a phobia where I, um, any pair of shoes, before I uh, put them on, I have to check for spiders. Um, in, in, like dump it out or, so, or what do you do? How do you check for a spider in a shoe? If I'm in a hurry, um, I just stick my hand in really quickly. Um, <laughs> if, if I have time, if I have time, I, I tap the end uh -huh. and then I stick my hand in. Uh -huh. um, it seems like you're just angering them. Well, and it's, it's kind of bizarre because it's not like there was ever a spider in my shoe. Mm -hmm. um, but if I was a spider and I saw a shoe... What I better mean, place to live? Thank you. All right. Well, so, but it's never happened to you. It's just a thing that you, you fear that it may happen someday. Well, uh, as long as I keep checking... It won't. It's never going to happen. Right, no. right. No, you see. But literally, is it every single time you, before you put a shoe on? It's, it's a little sad because, I mean... If I took my shoes off right now and, and we finished the interview, there's no spiders here. Mm -hmm. I well. would have to check them before I put them back on. Really? Yeah. So it is a thing. So, and what other do you, I, I'm not saying it is OCD, but it sounds it like it. It is completely um, OCD, yeah. And yeah, what, yeah. what other, what other, uh... Superstition? Yeah. Or? Do you have another thing that you can't do or can't? Um, yeah, there was a time when I wouldn't use the um, last match in a matchbook. 
I think that's bad anyway, isn't it? Or no? But well, why do you think it's bad? Three on a match is bad. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yes. Um, it just, it felt like there was something very final about it. And it was usually at airports. Mm -hmm. Oh. And so, yeah. if I used that last match, mm -hmm. we were going down. Oh. You know? Yeah, for wow. sure. Um, so, but then you can't, but then you can't throw it away either. You can't discard oh. a matchbook with one match. So Because then it's the same thing. Oh, so you'd keep it? I had a collection. <laughs> I had a collection of one match matchbooks, yeah. Really? Yeah. And then I just started buying lighters. Yeah. I was going to you know? say, but what yeah, if it's cause... the last lighter thing? I've never encountered that. Well, there's Smoke more? Yeah, I see. Yeah. Or just get a gigantic, you know, they have those huge, have you seen those matchstick things that are lighters now that someone thinks is funny and that you're I, stuck? I have one at home, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. You use it for the barbecue. Right. Yeah, of it's course. A, it's yeah. a popular thing now. All right, this is going nowhere. We're going to go to a commercial. <laughs> And uh, we'll be right back after this. So, uh, congratulations on the second seat. It's doing very, very well, the Thank show. Thank you. Thank you. It is. Very yeah. well. Thank you. Now, and here's, here's what someone told me earlier. I have no idea if this is true. Are you thinking that really when, whenever this show finishes, whether it's, you know, five years or what, you, you're going to retire? You're not going to work after this show? Did I say that? That's what they say. Someone said you said it. Well, I've, I've, I've entertained that notion. Um, not that I'm, that I'm, that I'm finished, uh, you know, as a, as a creative entity, but just that there's so many other things that I'd like to pursue, I'd like to explore. Mm -hmm. um, like what? Uh, you know, I mean, I, 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 I'd like to be available to, to be a full-time dad. Mm -hmm. You know, because I didn't That'd get a great. chance to do that the first time mm -hmm. around. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, And, you know, having done films for so long, you know, prior to television, I just, um, any place I was uh, sent to location-wise was never a place I would choose uh, vacation-wise. Right, you know? right. So it would be nice to travel by choice mm -hmm. or uh, go to college or just do things. Go you to know, college? Read, uh, I don't know. I mean, what would you study? I don't know. I'm, I'm, oh. <laughs> now you're just talking. Now, now yeah, I'm just yeah. talking, yeah, okay. yeah. But just you, could, to, you could have time to look into that OCD thing about spiders. You could actually I could. explore I could. that. Get to the bottom of that. Yeah. 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 So seriously, you just, well, I mean, I, I get the traveling thing and all that. Sure. And, uh, and being a full-time dad, that would be good. Because that must be hard to leave every day and, and leave her, you come home and she's probably sleeping when you get home. Not always. No? Not always, no. <laughs> That's a good thing or a bad thing? That's a bad thing. Yeah. That's a bad thing, yeah. I mean, it depends when I get home. Yeah. If I roll in at midnight, then it's good that she's asleep. Yeah. But five in the afternoon, no. No, because then she wakes up at midnight. Exactly. Yeah, I get it now. Yeah. All right, so, um, <laughs> and I also want to bring up, because this is a really uh, wonderful thing that you're involved with, Lee Jeans and the uh, Susan G. Coleman uh, Breast Cancer Foundation, yes, which yeah. I also am uh, involved with, which is... Thank you. Um, Thank you. It's a very cool thing. Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, Friday, October 8th. Friday, October 8th. Yes, is Lee National Denim Day, and I'm the spokesperson this year. Good for you. Yes, thank you. Good for you, because I know they raise a lot of money every year. Yeah, they've, they've, so. they've raised, uh, raised $44 million to date. Wow. And our, and, our, and our goal that Friday is to raise 7.5, and I think we can do it. Yes, you can. Yes. Everybody, everybody kick in. The season premiere of Two and a Half Men airs tonight at 9.30 on CBS. Thank you so much for being here Thanks again, Charlie. Uh, country cook Hazel Smith joins us after this. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Our next guest has become one of our favorites. She's back to dish up some of her good old Southern cooking. Please welcome from Nashville, Tennessee, Hazel Smith. <laughs> so good to see you. I'm good to see you. Honey, the last person. These aren't turn. Was Charlie Sheen back there. Really? Oh, honey? He, honey, he wants me bad. I don't know. <laughs> I told him he needed me bad. He said, what do I need you for? I said, whatever you man enough, honey. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Emma and I want to tell you something happened. We're going to make cheddar burgers. Cheddar burgers. Yes, now, sir. And where'd you get this recipe from? I made it up. Oh, yeah. something I made up. I mean, cheddar cheese goes with the burgers, don't you see? I, no, I do see it. I just yeah. was wondering where you got yeah. it. Yeah. All right, so. Something come out of my head. Uh-huh. So, uh -huh. so t it, let, it, let's make it because it, yeah. it, I love burgers and I love cheddar. Okay, so you mix them up. I yeah. got to love a cheddar We're gonna burger. We're going to put a little egg in here, baby. All and right. you mix it up and so, with your hands. With my hands. Yes, I know you hate it. Okay, and then. This uh, is breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. Mix it up. Eggs, and this is with 
Mr. Yeah, Sheriff? Yeah, you are not mixing up, Ellen. All right, well, I was waiting for you to finish. No, 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 we don't finish, just do it, Well, baby. now you're doing it. I don't no, need to no, do it. No, no, you do it. All right, all right. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. Because let me tell you about cheddar burgers. Please do. Oh, Lord, children like them. Uh-huh, well, yes. Men beg for them. Uh-huh. Women salivate. Mm-hmm. Okay. I believe that was the NSYNC slogan. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell you something about the boys. Go ahead. I want to tell you something. Yes. Yesterday on the airplane, yes. there was one thing they announced twice. What? The people in the uh, cheap seats, right. they said that we couldn't come up in the first class to pee. Oh, no. That's not right. We couldn't go up there to pee. Well, well, right. So I went to the back of the plane, and honey, that place was so little, I had to back it in. <laughs> You've done a good job here, Ellen. Thank you very much. Better than before. Thank you very much. OK, right. get you a piece about the size, little, not right. quite that big, about the size of an egg. OK, about Do the size. Do it around like this, baby. What kind of egg, an ostrich egg or a? Well, no, 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 a hen's a egg. Finch, the a hen's egg. And All then right. you smack it down like this. All there right. you go. Smack put it, it on down. The wax paper and smack her down. Yeah, wrestling okay, turn. then put. All right. Wait a minute. Let's do this, yes. baby. What? I did it. Get that other piece out there. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Then put that on top of there. Okay. Okay. Right. Smack her down. There you go. It's down. All right. Get your rolling pin roll a little uh, bit. All righty. Okay. See right over here, Ellen. What? We have got two done. Somebody's done made them out. I reckon the Lord done it. So uh, probably God did it since you're going to be God, for heaven's sake. That's right. Does everybody <laughs> know she's going to be God? <laughs> Sure. I believe I did something Put wrong. Put some right here. I, I don't think. Oh, okay. Lord, happens I have to watch this woman. Oh, my Lord, how we going to do that? Lord, well, have mercy, help us all. OK. Well, I can't make let, that let's well. Just, let's just go with the one. She has got it so sick, yeah. I can't cure it. Well, I was going to be fine without the rolling pin. Oh, head. Lord. All right, So go you ahead. put it right here in the middle, okay. right? Oh. Then you take another one. I see what's going to happen. Yes. I like that. Then you put yes. that on top of the cheddar? You do. All right. Then you pinch it around the edge. Look see? at that. See that? Oh, well. You, and you do it around the edge like great this. Great idea. Let me tell you something. Right. This is the after school supper. This seems very low fat and very <laughs> healthy. <laughs> Who cares? No, I don't care. And listen, if the children won't eat tomatoes, you put a little bit of tom uh, some tomato ketchup on it. Uh -huh. And they got the vegetable. Whoa, Lord, that's, it's yes. It's a wonderful thing to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put it right in here. It's like if you have a little bowl of mayonnaise, yes, it's like sir. having eggs in the morning. That's right. You put some salt on All it. Right. Okay. Why don't you put the pepper on? Let's see if you can put pepper on I don't really like pepper myself, but uh, I'll do it. Oh, sure, you do. No, you I really don't. don't remember. I don't like spicy things. That's enough. That, I think so, too. Yes, enough. All right. Pepper. And then and do you, you put an oh, onion you're going to fry up the onions. Yes, Make sir. Make them crispy. Yes, we're going to have right. onions. Now, where is our flipper? Here it is. All right. Ever, see that? Yes. Isn't that just wonderful? And you just turn it over like this. Yes. See, the cheese ain't going to come out. It certainly is. Delicious. See? Now, the cheese is OK to melt the in there like that? The cheese is OK to it melt. It doesn't come out. No. No, if you pinch it up good like I did, it, yeah. you know, okay. don't come out. And then you're wow, going to put your good. lettuce and the mate. Aren't you going to have a little baked beans? we got some of them over right. there. You find that put in them butter on the or grease? But I believe they put a little oil in there, honey. Oil. Just a little oil. Isn't that grease? Well, sort of. OK. I don't know. All right, so, and then... You can use canola oil, you know. Uh-huh, okay. Well, God knows everything. Don't you remember, honey? Yes. Whatever yes. you say is I, right. I haven't started filming yet, so I don't know. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm still mad at them Oscar people because they didn't give you an Oscar for Nemo. Oh, well. I'm mad at yeah. them. Aren't y'all mad at them? Oh. All right. They're plump idiots. Well, all right. Where's the, where's the finished product? Because... Uh, oh, we, we got it right okay. down here, baby. Oh, this is it right yeah. here? You look here how pretty this is, folks. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! I want to taste it. Ellen wants to taste this. All right, but I don't want the onions. Is that all right? Baby, any way you want it, it's your show. I don't want to, I just want to taste it without the onions. The only person uh, that can tell you what to do mm -hmm. is me. OK. <laughs> all right, now, now just and, take a bite. And you can cook it medium rare? Yes. Oh, God, well, yell at me. <laughs> Isn't that great? That's delicious. See? That's delicious. Yeah. Thank you so much, Hazel. Real sure welcome. When you pour white trash, you have to dream up things to That's make right. it good, you That's know. Right. You can't have steak every night. You have to have hamburger sometimes. That's right, sometimes. That's right. All right. Thank you so much. It's delicious. And we're going to be right back with Jennifer Coolidge right after this.
hamburger in my teeth. Hey, you'll recognize our next, uh, next guest for her scene-stealing performances in films like American Pie, Best in Show, and Legally Blonde. Now you can catch her on NBC's new sitcom, Joey. Take a look. Please welcome Jennifer Coolidge. Everything you do. Oh, thank you're you. You're so funny. It, it just, I'm so glad that you're here. And we met once on another show that I was going to do. Yeah. Briefly. <laughs> it didn't work out. But so I'm glad that you're here. Oh, I'm so glad you have the show. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> I like it. Um, all right. So now we didn't really, uh, we didn't know each other before we met for the uh, for the other show because you're out of New York, right? Right. And so you started out uh, working, but you you did other things before. Yeah, I started out waitressing. Oh, <laughs> that's what, that, not what I meant, but yeah, okay, you started out waitressing. <laughs> yeah. With, I, with who? Uh, I, uh, Sandra Bullock was the hostess, <laughs> and I was the cocktail waitress. Uh-huh. And, um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it was, uh, it was a job, I had it for like five years, and I showed up for the job like half the time, and I never got fired. It was this weird thing where they like didn't fire the waitresses if you didn't show up and stuff. But, um, but, but like... Um, Were you trying to get fired? Uh, no, I wasn't trying. I just, you know, I hated the job. But right. it was like a very cool, it was sort of very cool management. And, uh, and you, know, I, you know, it was hard to get like the holidays off, like 4th of July and things like that. And I had, you know, I, I lied so much. My excuses kept getting like more dramatic and, you know, start off with just like I was sick with the flu and then by the end, the last really bad lie had I told them on 4th of July that uh, someone at a party had put a cigarette out in my eye. <laughs> and, and, uh, but I went so far with the lie that I like went down to Roosevelt Hospital and I had an ambulance driver put on this really elaborate eye patch and then I left it on for like two weeks and then I messed up my vision when I took it off like you know because your eye like well, develops. you left it on to commit to it in case somebody would find I was out so pretty I was so paranoid in New York City that someone would see me without the eye patch and then how would I match up the story <laughs> Did anyone so, ask, what do you mean at a party someone put a cigarette out in your well, eye? I was, trying to think, <laughs> I was trying to think of something really right. bad, you know, that I could, like, you know, where I could go out on the town where I could still walk the streets of New York where, you know, I didn't say that, you know, I was, like, bedridden. So I was trying to think of something I could do where I was, like, bedridden. Oh, you know, I wasn't bedridden, but, you know, you know, I thought, I thought cigarette out in the eye is pretty harsh. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, That's a rough party you're going to. <laughs> it would have been a good movie for I you and Sandra Bullock to do together, though. Oh, my God. That yeah. she's helping you heal from the cigarette in the eye, and then you try to find the person who did it. And... Oh, By the way, I cigarette? I can't believe I did it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, you look great. You look oh, fantastic. Thank you. What's uh, someone said that you went, uh, what's the outdoorsy thing that, that you didn't, didn't work out so well? <sighs> Well, no, actually, um, I, it, it was uh, a, uh, it was called, I found it on the internet, it was called uh, Mountain Trek. I decided I was, wanted to get in shape, and, um, you know, I was at my dentist, and the, uh, the dental hygienist was like, you know, I, you know, I was telling her I wanted to lose some weight, and she was like, you know, after 30, the only way you can get it off is lipo. <laughs> you know, and so I thought, well, I'm going to go try the working out thing. You know, in this town, it's sort of like lipo. Over 30, you got to go for lipo. So I thought, um, I'm just going to try working out first, and then I'll, That's you know, a good idea. I'll yeah. Try the and you know what? I went to this place. It was called Mountain Trek. I found it on the internet. It wasn't that expensive. And, and um, it was, like, in the middle of nowhere, and they just make you, they give you very little food, and they make you hike up these mountains all day long. <laughs> and, uh, and then... <laughs> and, and they, they, they charged They charged you for this? <laughs> well, they have these very, very handsome guides, you know, these really handsome guys, that, and you're, you think you're dying, and of course, you know, there's no one to carry you down, like, that's the great thing, it's not like a Stairmaster where you can, like, make up excuses or uh -huh. lie to get off, or, or say someone put a cigarette so, out in my so, eye, cigarette out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you just, you get, you get up halfway up the mountain, and you just, can't, you, there's no way to bail, so you have to go down, you know, you have to get off the mountain, but, um, uh, yeah, my, uh, these really handsome guys would come up behind you and go, Jennifer, you can do it, <laughs> 
and, uh, and you're like, I can. You know, like, you know. We have to take a break. We'll be right back after this. So I was saying that on Joey, you play uh, Matt LeBlanc's agent, right. and that must be a lot of fun. How is that for you? Oh, it is the best job I've ever had. Yeah? I mean, it's just incredible. Yeah, I mean, they, you know, it's the same crew and everything, so it's like, it's just they have it down. You go in, you do your thing, and uh, Matt LeBlanc is just the nicest guy. I, can, I mean, I can't tell you. I mean, you know, sometimes when people get really famous, they get weird, but Matt LeBlanc is... Yeah, he's is, still... He's just so normal, so consistent. Every day he's, you know, every day he's... The you know nicest guy. What a job! And it's what a good great writing. Job. Really, really funny. Oh. Your part is, you know, that's a great part. It is a great. You know, you yeah. get revenge on all those people that rejected you <laughs> <laughs> for all those years. Yeah, you know, I all it. those agents that said they thought you sucked. You know? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they were wrong. You're fantastic. You really are. You make oh, me laugh in everything you. you're in. Thank, thank you so you much for much. being here. Joey thank airs you. Thursdays at eight on NBC. Oh. and Hazel Smith tomorrow. John Stewart and Oliver Hudson will join me. Oh, and one more thing. Let's give Yvette's TiVo away because she didn't have an answer phone, so we're going to give one away to y'all. Let's, Let's go. Uh... You pick it out. I'll pick it out. You okay. do it. Number 62. 62! Ah, oh, look at that. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Isn't that exciting? Wow, there you Look go. Look at that. How are you? What, what's there your you name? Go. Kathy. Kathy, well, there's a TiVo for you. <laughs> now, you'll never miss our shows again. Oh, never. Exactly. It's never. fantastic, isn't it? Thank Congratulations. You. That's what it is. Bye. Enjoy.